personally could never look at this kind of information and fully trust the mainstream history ever again. It honestly is fairy tale stuff for adults at this point. Now I found some really cool pictures that I've been waiting to share with you all from the 1800s and they're very strange. They're so out of place and just totally looks like our new civilization is just completely lost in the photos. This one is from Boston on 88 Commonwealth Avenue. At some point in between 1890 and 1899, you have dirt roads. You have these people occupying these buildings that they have zero clue where it came from. And here we have a few photos of Boston in 1890. And where is everybody? Looking and sounding a little more strange now? We have all of these incredible buildings and no people. Why would you need all of these buildings for such a small population? You wouldn't. The previous civilization was here before. They constructed all of these buildings and they needed every single one of them. Here in Boston from the sky. It's obviously a drawing and not real from 1899, but look how the city is clearly laid out. It even has land that is perfectly formed right on the water. Here we have the Boston Public Library with dirt roads. And of course, it's still here today, looking better than ever, exactly like our buildings that we build today. Oh no, not like our buildings today. In fact, nothing like them. And then I went on to the historic New England website and they have a page called Old Boston, which is pretty telling in itself. And the description here says, these are five images showing the development of Beacon Hill from drawings by J.H. Smith, made on the spot in 1811 and 1812. The guy is depicting horses and wagons with nothing around and a huge mound that looks to me like they've dug this massive structure out from underneath the dirt. And this is one of the strangest pictures for me. It's from 1840 in Boston, where the population was only 93,000 people. And right before this photo in 1839, what do you know? Boston's Lunatic Asylum was established. Check out episode 13 if you're interested in that topic. Very interesting stuff. And people look so out of place. And they look like farmers. Nothing against farmers. But they're in a palace with dirt roads and horses. I'm not sure that I've seen many stranger depictions of the past than this one. If we zoom in on the massive building with incredible columns, we can see that it is the Boston Insurance Office. Well... We also know that this is from State Street, Boston. So let's have some fun and go even deeper. We have the four columns, exactly like the depiction from 1840. But can anyone see what is missing from the 1872 photo? Only 32 years later, something is missing. How about the entire bottom portion of this building? It's completely covered up. And the top of the building is also changed. So someone went in here and did something to these buildings and this area between 1840 and 1872. In 1862, we get the Boston Educational Commission to make sure everyone is being told what to think. And here we have the National Theater in Boston, where in 1852, the theater burned down, but they rebuilt it, thankfully, so that 11 years later, it could just be destroyed by another fire. And we all know about the fires, a great nod that this is an old world building. So we have this picture of State Street, and then we have an actual photo of the same street 60 years later in the year 1900. And everyone is still riding around on horses and wagons. This is another photo of State Street in Boston from 1850, where there aren't any people on the street. I think it's very important to share these photos so that everyone can see them. They're not easy to find anymore, which is interesting in itself. And in my opinion, these fully prove that we are correct. These photos are displaying a civilization that was so technologically weak, where they were riding around next to massive palace buildings, looking like, oh, I don't know, that they might be in the wrong timeline. And here is the same road with zero people again from June of 1875. And it gets even weirder when we see this photo from 1898. 23 years later, where they are digging up the dirt road with their incredible technology of shovels and wheelbarrows. And what is really going on here? Are they tearing apart the previous civilization's road that was under all of this dirt, hiding? These are massive and no ordinary brick. Comment below what you think this is. I think this is a destruction process, but would love to hear your ideas. And here we have this US post office building which was the first post office building in the city of Boston. 
to be owned by the United States federal government. They knocked this one down to build the John W. McCormick Post Office and Courthouse. And this is where I found that they are fully lying to us. Here we go. We are told that the John W. McCormick Post Office and Courthouse was constructed between 1931 and 1933. But I have found a massive flaw in their story. And the flaw is that this building was not always called the John W. McCormick Post Office and Courthouse. And they have changed the name of it so that we would not be able to find it in the archives. I found out that this building was actually called the United Shoe Machinery Building. And I think we're becoming a serious issue for the mainstream history because I found the United Shoe Machinery Building in a photo from 1930. And that building is done. We were told that they built it in 1931 to 1933. And I didn't just find one photo, I found a lot of them. And this is incredible because this proves that we just need to go find what the building's name was before they say that they founded it. And it will then appear in the photos that predate the mainstream timeline. These buildings are older than we are told. And I think we found something massive today. And not only did they change the name of the building, but they have also changed the name of the street with it being located at 50 High Street. And now the building has that street address erased from the side. There's a lot more on the way. So if you like this kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll be back very soon with much more. See ya.